To access the trip planner, you log into your member's account. After you've done that, you'll see the dashboard icon up in the top right hand corner of the screen. It's like a little wheel. Just click that, then select Trip Planner. You're then taken to the Trip Planner and you know that you are there because over on the left hand side is a tab which says Trip Planner. That's how you log into the Trip Planner on the Caravan Park Photos website. Let me show you how to add a trip to the Trip Planner. First thing to do is to make sure that you've selected the tab Trip Planner. Then click the link here which says Add a New Trip. In this case, we're going to put Northern New South Wales, which is a wonderful part of the world to visit if you've never been there. Then select the start date and you can put whatever date you like and the end date. Then Save. You'll see that the trip has been added and the dates are shown and it's selected as active. These little icons here are also important. This one here enables you to edit the trip name and or the dates. This one shows you that uh, you can view the trip in print format or save as PDF. This one you can email the trip to yourself and then forward it to family and friends and the X of course you can delete this trip if you uh, decide that uh, you're not going to go on it or you have other arrangements. That's how you add a trip to the trip planner. Let me show you how to add some parks to your uh, itinerary. We're going to work with the trip called Northern New South Wales and you'll see that that is marked as active. Click on the map tab and you'll see a map with a lot of colored icons. The yellow ones are caravan parks, green icons represent stay and rest locations where you can camp for free, blue icons, campgrounds and of course the last one here is pet friendly. So what we want to do for the purposes of demonstration is add a park that is pet friendly. So we'll uncheck stay and rest, uncheck campgrounds and check pet friendly. So I'm starting my journey from Coffs Harbour so I want to try and find parks that are pet friendly and a reasonable drive from Coffs. What I'm going to do is select this one here the Solitary Islands Marine Park Resort. So click on that little icon and it opens up <coughs> some information. Now I can just click here to add it to the trip or I can get more information. I'm going to get more information and you'll see that opens up the uh, photographs in Caravan Park Photos so you can go through those. Also confirms that it's pet friendly. So yep that looks like a good place to stay so I'm going to click the uh, button up here called Add to Trip. So that has now been added to the trip and um, if I go back to the, um, the calendar here you can see that Solitary Islands Marine Park Resort has been added. And uh, I'll show you shortly how to add these to the calendar. That's how you select parks in the trip planner. In the last tutorial I showed you how to add um, parks to the calendar and I'm now going to add a few more for our trip which is from the 14th to the 18th. So go to map and you'll see that the last place I was at was Solitary Islands Marine Resort. Now what I'd like to do is have one night of free camping so I'm going to get rid of campgrounds because you often have to uh, pay for those. Still want to keep pet friendly checked. I'm going to add stay and rest and you see the green icons come up. So what I think I might do is stay at Elmira Showground. So just click that one. Uh, get more information as I showed you before. Yep, that looks pretty good. So add to trip. If I go back to the calendar, you'll see that's been added. Now return to the map. Um, close that. And what I want to do now is wouldn't mind staying at a pet friendly in um, in uh, 
let's say I Luca. So I'll just click this one here. Yep, that looks good. Add to trip. And um, just close that. And then the last one, last place I want to stay at is Byron Bay, uh, which is sort of further up here. You need to jiggle this map around a bit. Um, oh, there it is. And there's only one pet friendly park at Byron Bay by the look of it. So I'll select that one and add to trip. So just close that, go over to the calendar and you see these have been added. So what I'm going to do now is drag them onto the calendar. So the trip starts on the 14th, so that one goes there. Then the next night at Almara for the free camping. The next night at Iluka. And then um, Byron Bay finally. So that does it. That shows you just how simple it is to um, select parks and add them to the calendar. I'm now going to show you how to add a note to some of your entries in the calendar. Firstly, log into Trip Planner and make sure that the trip that you want to add notes to has been selected as active. Then go to the calendar and you see on the calendar here the trips from the 14th through to the 18th and we've added the parks where we want to stay. So we'd like to add a note here to this one. So just click on it and add a note. Good park in pleasant location. Save. Um, and we'll add a note to this one. Just click on it and it opens up. And uh, what we want to do is uh, say that uh, good fishing we have stayed here before and save. So that's all you've got to do. That just shows you how incredibly simple it is to add notes to items in your calendar. Let me show you how you can move items around the calendar and also remove them. Let's say with Byron Bay you decide that you want to stay another night. You just click on it, one click, and then drag. Okay, so it's just a light click and then drag back. If you wanted to remove that from the calendar altogether, you just double click and remove. Then it said, do you want to remove Byron Bay completely or just this event? I'm going to select this event and you see it's gone, but it's still over here. So you can return it fairly easily without any trouble. You've also got instructions here to the right just to prompt your memory on the things you need to do in calendar view. Hopefully you'll find our system very user friendly. Let me show you now how you can print out the itinerary that you've prepared using our trip planner. Firstly, make sure that you've selected the tab trip planner and that the trip you want to work with is marked active. You then click on the little printer icon here and that will generate a PDF file of the itinerary. Here it is. And you can see that there's a lot of information, including the GPS coordinates. This is very useful for you to be able to refer to while you're traveling. You can print it out or you can save it. It's a very, very simple system and we hope it adds value to your travels.